everybody. I'm Sam Beeman with Light Talk. Well, Light Talk has taken a little bit of a turn since the last time we met. It's, it's not quite the studio that we once might have been used to, but um, <laughs> we're coming to you from a garage somewhere in America, and I hope you enjoy. What we're going to do on today's episode, this is just sort of an intro uh, as, we, as we climb back to the road of Light Talk and we get a new studio home. So uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to bring on a good friend of mine who's going to be our guest for today. We're just going to talk a little bit with him, see what's going on in his world. Please welcome Harrison Mills. Hey, Harrison. Hey, Sam. Man, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Oh, right, man. It feels like forever, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, maybe five minutes ago or something. Yeah, at least five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we had a great time on Light Talk uh, before in the studio. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about the new setup? Um, yeah, it's different. Yeah. New, new cutting edge, uh, yeah, the grunge, tell. grunge look. I mean, I like it. Yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> could use a little bit of AC, you know. It is kind of hot. Yeah. And we don't have any makeup people yet, so uh, that's another thing. Yeah, um, since the, the budget, budget's a little tight, yeah. and of course really there's tight. the recession. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been able to afford a haircut, I mean. As you can tell, look yeah. at that. I mean, the last time you saw him, I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was very short. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now you're going out. And tell us about this hairdo, anyways. I mean, do people stop you and ask you about this? Um, it's it's actually funny because I get a lot of, uh, mostly mostly girls, and say, "Hey, how do you do that? Do you spend hours upon hours?" I'm like, "Hey, I'm a guy. <laughs> I do the least amount of effort possible." For my hair, they're like, "Oh my gosh, no way! I would spend like ten hours doing something like that." I'm like, "I don't have the time, the day to do this." It's just, it's it's natural, ladies. If you're wondering, shampoo. Look at that! It springs. It's, yeah. Yeah. Shampoo, mousse. That that that's it. Yeah. Shampoo and mousse. Huh. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Shampoo and mousse to have those five minutes. That gorgeous locks. <laughs> that's what I like to. Uh, uh, say from time to time the gorgeous locks. Actually, mm -hmm. I don't think I say it quite like that, but no. even have like old ladies ask to touch the hair, which is <laughs> which, it's it's kind of strange when you don't know them, but they're you know they're old ladies. Like, so oh, let me just touch yeah, them. yeah, like I'm just so beautiful. I just and I'm like, you I'm gonna humor to you. Oh. I'm gonna humor you because you know you're my elder. I'm supposed to respect elders, and you know. I let them touch it. You let them touch it. And then they say, I would just kill to have hair like that. I'm like, just don't kill me. Yeah, exactly. We'll be good. Because they kill you, take your body, take your hair. I, you know, I'm like, you know, lady, if you want, I, just just give me a couple of years. I can make a wig out of this so you can wear it. Then, boom. Hey. There you have it. So for those of you in our studio audience uh, that are watching, give him a few years. He might be able to cut some of those locks. For your wig. <laughs> right. And send checks payable to Harrison Mills. Okay, okay. Uh, what's that email address? Uh, Light Talk TV. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and and you know that reminds me, we actually do have an email address set up. So for uh, for those of you out there watching on the internet who might want to send something in to Light Talk, maybe have an idea for something you want to see us do. Hey, I don't know. Suggestion. Uh, maybe you got a funny story or a question, something you want us to read on the air. Uh, we'll be glad to uh, to humor you with your humor uh, and that's lighttalktv at yahoo.com lighttalktv at yahoo.com yeah uh, it's pretty simple okay now one of the things that we want to uh, talk about is character uh, that's one of the things that I think we don't hear enough about is <sighs> uh, good character my shins are sweating yes just thinking about it um, and you know I've known you for a while and you've definitely displayed good character uh, how do you do it how do I do it yeah well, I mean because you're usually pretty nice to people yeah you know yeah. I see you holding up you know doors open for older ladies and then shutting them in the face of young kids I'm right. kidding <laughs> but, but uh, no I mean you're you're very very helpful and uh, very thoughtful um, where where do you find uh, the strength the motivation um, where do you get that from I mean, is this your own doing? Like, I just want to be the nicest little thing. <laughs> uh, no, sometimes I just, especially for those people who, you know, I do hold doors open for and they just walk by, I just want to say, yeah, 
you're welcome. You know, it's, that's some things that you know you want to say because like, oh wow, you're being rude. You want to be rude back. But um, you know, I find my source, of course. Uh, wow, that rhymed. Uh, <laughs> From, you know, from the Bible, getting into the Word, uh, having a relationship with Christ, seeking Him first and foremost, you know, those feelings or whatever that want to come up and just want to say, you know, that worldly or fleshly, you know, uh, battle that we have, um, you know, uh, just mouth off to somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you know, Christ, that just... Tell somebody where they could go. Right. Yeah. Or where they're going. Where they're but, going. Uh, <laughs> um, it's not edifying to Christ. It's not. It's not glorifying God whatsoever. And then, as a Christian, we're we're called to be uh, the salt and enlighten the world. And um, you know, if if I'm acting like a stink bug mm -hmm. or whatever, you might get squashed. Um, yeah, and there'd be a foul smell everywhere. That's right. <laughs> and people will turn their nose up to. Uh, Christians everywhere, mm. which unfortunately sometimes that's the case. That's the case, yeah. Well, I, I have noticed that you have a good attitude about a lot of things, and of course, you know, we're not perfect. No. Uh, you know, we come across things all the time, like people not using blinkers. Um, what do you do about that? So, uh, <laughs> wait, you didn't yeah. say anything about that, did you? No. Okay, all right. Uh, but I've that's, heard mm, a lot of... That's a personal testimony of yourself, isn't it? So, yeah. write to us, lighttalktv at yahoo.com. We want to hear from you. And feel free to pass this pass this uh, video along to your friends on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, uh, whatever. So, anyways, thank you again, and stay tuned for more of Light Talk. Light Talk presents Stand Up for Jesus, and now here's your feature comedian, Cecile Kaiser. And I do get to do a lot of traveling. I see a lot of public restrooms, and I have to say, there is one word in the English language that strikes fear into my heart like no other, unisex. <laughs> it stands for unbelievably nasty, insanitary experience. I want to boldly go where no man has gone before me. <laughs> exactly. And why do they lock the bathroom doors? Obviously, the only person they're keeping out is the cleaning lady. <laughs> and how about the automated bathrooms? You know, I don't know if you've seen them, but in California, we have blue ones. They're blue plastic on the seat, and you press the button, and blue plastic goes around. And I'm thinking, yeah, I wonder how many times that sucker's been around. <laughs> now, mind you, I can handle a faucet that turns on by itself. I can handle a dryer that turns on by itself. I draw the line in a toilet that flushes by itself. I can't help but believe there is some old fellow back there peeking through a hole. <laughs> what about the times it doesn't flush? You stand up, it doesn't flush. You sit down, you stand up, it doesn't flush. You begin to talk to the toilet, you go, come on, I got a plane to catch. It doesn't flush. You know why? The guy's on a coffee break. <laughs> And how many of you will actually admit to using the phone in the bathroom? I call that phone on the throne. <laughs> Gives new meaning to the term royal flush. But you're at the stall minding your own business and you hear, hello. What you doing? Can I come over? I remember my son coming home from Sunday school one day and he was all excited to tell me that he had learned about Adam and Eve and he learned that God made Adam, took a rib from Adam and made Eve. And about two weeks later, he's sick in bed and I said, honey, you know, what's wrong? And he said, I don't know, my side hurts. I think I'm going to have a wife. My husband, Bill, has his own version of the uh, creation story. It goes, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and he rested. God created man, and he rested. God created woman, and ever since that time, neither God nor man has rested. <laughs> Bill and I have been married 33 years. I must say, in all fairness to the guys, we ought to do away with the wedding vows and just read you your rights. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Anything you say will be used against you in any argument. 
You have the right to a marriage counselor. If you cannot afford one, my mother will step in. Mm -hmm. But Bill's a cuddler. I love it. I lay on my side and he fits perfectly right here and he whispers the sweetest things in my ear, you know, like... <laughs> oh. When we first got married, Bill had one thing on his mind. My body. 33 years later, he has one thing on his mind. The remote control. <laughs> and we watch football. We not only watch the game, we watch the pregame, which is everybody sitting around telling you what you're going to see. And after the game, we watch the post-game, which is everybody sitting around telling you what you just saw. And then we watch the highlights, which is the whole thing all over again. And you guys wonder why we think we have to tell you the exact same thing three times in a row. <laughs> what is this? It's called Epic Characters. I see that, you idiot. But what is it about? Well, it has a lot of adventure, plenty of action, mystery and suspense, evil villains trying to dominate the world from outer space with love and romance. Oh, oh and daredevil stunts, victory and comedy. And it's all played by one man. How much will it cost? Only 25,000. Brilliant. You've made it this far. You might as well stick around for the rest of the program. You're watching Light Talk with Sam. Hi there, and welcome back to Light Talk. I'm your host, Sam Beeman, and that was a lot of fun with Harrison, but I've got another guest that I want to bring on to the show today, a good friend of mine. We've actually been acquainted for the past year or so. Please welcome Timothy Carroll. How you doing, man? Hey, come on in. Have a seat. So, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I know I'm ill, boss. I'm oh. a little on the ill side. Okay, yeah. Well, your people on. call my people. I specifically said only green M&Ms. There was a red one in the bowl. A red one. <laughs> Sam, I don't like the red ones. I, I'm, you know, I'm so sorry. Um, I know that you've got this phobia of Christmas and everything. It's just, it's the weirdest thing. Um, what? But who does this? <laughs> you know, this is just one of those things that I, I like to have near me at all. <laughs> it's good on me, actually. It does. It does. It's actually it really quite is. quite becoming. Um, you know, I, I usually wear that with my, my Grinch outfit. Um, I, yeah. I seen the video of that, you know, on YouTube, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, up, it's up on uh, YouTube. Uh, Grinch of Halloween. That's, uh, it was a lot of fun. I've got a video on there also. I'm putting a diaper on a boy. It's pretty intense. A big youth revival thing I did. It's just an epic moment. Elephant hats. It's, it's, Diapers on kids. It's good stuff. I mean, the boy was 15 or so, but diaper to diaper. So, so what's the video called? I have no idea. Uh, I can't even find it. So, if you're going to be looking this up it's, on YouTube, it's diaper on the, I have no idea what you're going to find. <laughs> you know what? It's don't look that up. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to look at that. Yeah, don't hold uh, light talk to the, that. The, the kid's name was Michael. I can't remember his last name. He's a good kid. To protect the innocent. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll get a new heading on that and I'll get back to you. Okay. So that'll be easier for the uh, viewers to watch. So so you were wearing an elephant hat, an elephant crazy hat, right. elephant hat. Yeah. I'm at the uh, the sporting goods store because aside from heaven, that's the greatest place on earth. <laughs> Basketballs, footballs, life's great. So I get this $2 little beach elephant hat and I put on my hat as a joke. I'm walking all around the mall with this thing on. I'm at the gas station and people are looking at me funny. I'm like, hey. Funny hat, right? And they're like, yeah, it's pretty crazy, psycho, man. And I'm like, let me tell you about Jesus while I'm wearing the hat. Oh, and I'm being this killer <laughs> witnessing tool. So all day, like, for like a week, I'm bouncing around with this trunk on my head of an elephant. So, so you were able to invite people out of church or witness just through a hat? Through this goofy hat. Something like this right here, of course. A lot more style. Uh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> so, so for people out there that are spending millions of dollars in ministry, and marketing. And marketing. Just go buy a two dollar silly hat and uh, <laughs> just wear it, wear it out in public. Oh, cute. And don't yeah, take that, it off. That's the key. That's the key. Don't take it off. It doesn't matter what anybody says to you. People will laugh at you. That's okay. The, old people be like pointing at things, and I just walk into like, is something on my head? Because people are looking at me funny. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? I'd be like, oh, let me tell you about it. You know, you this youth revival, a little bit about Jesus time. Well, that that's pretty cool. You know, to be able to share like that. So uh, speaking of sharing, 
Um, you also are, for those of you who don't know, a musician, a writer. Uh, you, you I write, yes. Musician? Yeah, yeah, yeah musician. I play one on TV. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, when you see me play tonight, I promise you, he's going to have to overdub a real acoustic guitar over me. Uh, that's something I'll take care of in uh, post-production, yes. But yes, yes, I do, I do enjoy writing. Enjoy so writing so who do you sound like? Who, who do you think you sound like? I don't know. I hope I sound like me. I mean, some people say I have I mean, a, any artist out there, like, some people say have Toby a, Mac? A, people say I have a Todd Agnew kind of voice okay. on a couple things. All right, so cue up Todd Agnew. Be looking <laughs> right. for What's yeah. on these play? Todd York. <laughs> don't sue me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, so, uh, you know, Christians not supposed to be fun. That's what I was told, right? <laughs> Christians aren't supposed to have There's fun. There's all these people. Look at those devil worshippers saying <laughs> Jesus' is name with elephant hats and that Grinch thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Christians Christians can definitely have fun. I'm, I'm living proof of that. And so are you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, the musician thing. I give yeah. that a shot. I write a lot. So. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, now, you're in a band. Yes. Holding Grace. Holding Grace. Uh, how long have you guys been together? A uh, year and a half. Year and a half. Are you guys Pretty playing yet. a lot now, or no? We're we're you know, things change, people change. We work on things, and uh, yeah, we're just taking a step back, and uh, we'll put, hopefully get back together within the year. But it's gonna take some time off. I'm working on some solo things, you know, maybe put together a different band, uh, you know. Well, it's the only time can tell and see what God wants to do with it. Now wait a minute. You just said maybe put together another band, and and we have people out there watching, probably your band members. So <laughs> do they know about this? <laughs> Uh, well, hold on. There's a text message now. <laughs> Wait, that's my manager. <laughs> uh, well, uh, well, you have but I'll definitely wear a mask in that band for nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, uh, wear a diaper on his head. That's <laughs> right. That's it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, you're already thinking of a name for that. <laughs> I've got it down. It's called Diaper Truck. Yeah, that's right. the Diaper Truck. <laughs> okay, well, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a break, and we're going to come back in just a moment. You're going to sing for us. Uh, what's the name of the song? I need you now. I need you now. Okay. All right. Well, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a moment with Timothy Carroll. I need you now. All right. Look what I found. I got a balloon. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> this is all right. Talk about customer service. I love it. Mm. Mm. Sir. Yes. That belongs to the store. Oh. Uh. I thought it was a part of the meal. No. Uh. Okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> All right, well, Would you like uh, it for real, though? I, I guess. What's that? Would you like it, though? Uh, hey, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. All right. Wow, talk about customer service. I love this place. Okay, well, uh, we'll get back to our show in just a moment. You're watching All I Talk with Sam Beeman. Pretend that this is a commercial break. And now, back to our program.
of Light Talk. I'm your host, Sam Beeman. We want to again thank our guests, Harrison Mills and Timothy Carroll. Uh, be sure to look up that video on YouTube. Um, but anyways, uh, stick around for the next edition of Light Talk. Take care and God bless. Hey, Harrison! I bet Leno's got air conditioning. Thanks. Good night. You've been watching Light Talk with Sam Beeman, and now here's a blue. It is hot in here! Devil to hell. Oh. Ah! Outtakes. Okay. Um, we'll be back in just a moment. Here's a short video clip of Sam interviewing guests such as Rebecca St. James, Michael Tate, Jeremy Camp, John Gray, Big Daddy Weave, and many more. Here we are, Light Talk. We've got a great show lined up for you today. And uh, tell you what, I'm going to see if I can find anybody around here. Um, well, would you look at this, Rebecca St. James. Rebecca, it's so nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Oh, wow, this is exciting. Uh, what would you like to say to our, our audience out there? Well, just want to, um, yeah, give a shout-out to everybody watching, and probably the best thing that I could do would be to um, just leave a verse with you. Um, it's probably one of my all-time favorites, and it's Ephesians 3.20. It says, with God's power in us, God can do much, much more than anything we can ask or even imagine. God bless you guys, and this guy here is a little... Suspect will be like it. Appreciate it. We'll do the thing together. It'll be awesome, oh, man. man. I'm serious. Well, here we are with Jeremy Camp. Jeremy, man, Sam. it was so awesome. I tell you, just uh, rocking the house and the Spirit of the Lord was just heavy in the place. Uh, anything you'd like to say to the guys uh, for next year? Oh, I, I can tell anybody who uh, wants to come to this is going to be blessed because I, I, I was totally blown away by everyone's heart. Everybody, like staff, the, the kids, their heart for the Lord encouraged me. So, I mean, and I, you know, we play a lot of places, and it's just I can tell that everyone just loves Jesus, and that that's what makes it for me. Hi, this is Sam Beeman, and here we are, Vision 2010, and it's just the anointing being kissed right now. Woo! Here I am with Mr. John Gray. What are you doing, Beemaster? Good to so, see you. Oh man. yeah, it's always good to see you. Here we are with lead singer of Big Daddy Weave. How do you feel? Man, you know, I'm feeling pretty great. I brought my towel just in case I was going to like accidentally sweat on you like right here. Cause sometimes that's what happens when big daddies get rambunctious. Well, okay, you just stay right there. No, just play it. It's about keeping your distance, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't either bring an umbrella or something like that. You know, it's, it's yeah. Well, what I thought was kind of funny is you uh, you joked around about uh, doing a stage dive. Yeah, yeah, be careful for that, because if Big Daddy's near you do a stage dive, it could mean like impending doom of some sort for you, you or the people around you. Here with me is 
Ricardo Sanchez. Come on in. Hey, hey. Sam, it's good to see you, yeah, man. Yeah, it's good to see you as well. You too, I tell you, that was anointing out there. Uh, that was just amazing. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Thank um, you very much. I mean, just uh, seeing everybody just engaged in worship. Praise I know God. that we, we talk about this every year. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Man, I think that they need to get here next year. Well, you're a rock star, right? So I could like look you up on MySpace or something? Or? Not really. I think you're thinking of somebody else, but I uh, appreciate it. Please take the real. You too. Please take the real. That guy kind of looked like Tim Hawkins. So, so the fall, uh, maybe maybe there's something there? Uh, yes. Possibly? Maybe. Possibly. Are, are you traveling around anywhere else? Like, we're, we're pretty much on like a, the, the world's biggest tour ever. You know any good musicians? We're, uh, we're musicians. You're musicians? Yeah, man, we play D nows. We yeah. play church yeah. camps. Okay. We play Bibles. Revival. Yeah, man, we played this uh, thing called uh, uh, The Door. The Door? Yeah, man, like twice. Twice, okay. Well, well any uh, any big places, I mean, you know. Yeah, man, I mean, like, D-Nails. you heard of D-Nails? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of D-Nails. Man, they're massive. Yeah, but... I mean, seven, eight, like 70 kids, 80 kids. I'll just go look somewhere else, but thanks anyways. Who are you again? Uh, I'm Shane. I'm a Shane. Shane, Shane. Here I am with Jason McLeod, who plays Brock Kelly in the movie Facing the Giants. Feels time to pick. And uh, now, Jason, since you've worked on the movie Facing the Giants, how has God changed your life? From Sherwood Baptist Church in Albany, Georgia, please welcome Stephen and Alex Kendrick. Well, guys, welcome to the show. It's good to see you again. Thanks. Thank you. Good to be here. And um, look, I got to say, congratulations on all the success on Facing the Giants. Did you ever dream that it would have gone as far as it has? Um, you know, uh, no, but we did accept the fact that we have a big God, and God can do uh, far above what we ever ask or imagine. Here with me is the lead actress who plays the wife of Kirk Cameron in the new movie Fireproof. She is a theater major graduate of University of Mobile. Uh, she also works as an entertainer full-time at Disney World and is the daughter of the pastor of Sherwood Baptist Church. Please welcome Erin Bethay. Thanks. Erin, <laughs> it is so nice to have you on the show. I'm truly honored. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Now, I read somewhere that Fireproof was not your first film debut, that actually it was in Facing the Giants. Would you care to tell us about that? Um, it's interesting because sometimes I do consider Fireproof my first film debut, which is, which is weird because it's not, but it was so different from my experience in Facing the Giants. Um, in Facing the Giants, I play a sportscaster, Alicia Houston, for just a bit at the beginning of the movie. I interview uh, Coach Bobby Lee Duke, played by Jim McBride. That was you. Okay. That was me <laughs> with the microphone. 